Hey there. All right. It is a new day, a new game. Um, this is called One Night Stand, and it's uh, more of a visual novel, um, though I would say that it has some great game elements to it as well. Um, a lot of interactivity and choice. Um, so that's nice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I actually did um, play through just a little bit yesterday to make sure that um, I kind of knew what was going on and could play the game smoothly. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So um, it's one night stand. I'm going to double check that this is showing up on stream okay i had some trouble with the game the other day where it didn't show the whole screen looks like it's okay um so i'm gonna go ahead and start the game so you wake up um basically with a hangover in a stranger's bedroom like crap. What happened? So I drank a lot. Uh oh, what's that noise? Okay, I'm kind of, I'm waking up. I got a hangover. Very blurry. My phone. Oh, that's what it was. So looks like that's my phone. All right. Oh, Gary. I am a dude in this game, by the way, just so you know. Uh, it's It becomes pretty obvious. But uh, So, Gary. I was with Gary last night. All right. He doesn't sound too happy with me. What happened? Yeah, you should respond to your friend, Gary, that you were supposed to be with last night. So, no idea, but woken up with a banging hangover. You... Uh oh, phone is about to die. Where's my phone charger? What? Uh oh, I don't see my phone charger. That's not it either. Wait, this is not my bedroom. This isn't my bedside table. This isn't even my room. Whoops. Where am I? Uh-oh, clothes are all over the floor. Uh-oh, I'm naked. Oh, who's this? Whoa. Why, yes, I think that you did hook up. All right. Who is she? Okay. Dude, you bailed on me. I gave up a date to go drinking with you and you wander off after one round. Now that's an important detail. One round. What the hell? Gary ditched his date and I ditched him. Shit. Yeah, maybe Gary can, uh, yeah, you should tell Gary about the girl. You're friends anyway. I mean, so I'm really sorry about last night, but I just woke up in some girl's bed. So maybe Gary can help me out. Um, uh-oh, Gary doesn't believe me. All right. Wow, that was a bender. Who is this girl? Where am I? This is going to be so awkward when she wakes up. All right. No, no, so... This, I, I, I did get through this part of the game and I did not 
I did not want to be creepy. So I'm not going to take a photo of this naked chick that I don't even know. Um, uh oh, and now my phone died. I don't know what happened last night. What should I do now? So I have a hangover and she's sleeping. Um, I'm going to go back to sleep. Yeah, I could use some more sleep, but I'm kind of, oh, I mean, I can't sleep now. Uh-oh. So she threw the covers over me. Where did she go? All right. I wonder if she wants me to leave. I'm not going to go home. I still want to find out what's going on. So my phone's dead. It's a condom. Well, the wrapper at least. Well, good. At least we could save sex. At least that's one mystery wrapped up. Terrible pun. All right. Um, I found my jeans. They look a bit dirty, though. Where'd that stain come from? Oh. Hey, jeans are like that. That's true. All right. I need to find my boxers. Hang on. There's something in the pocket. Ooh. Okay. So I was at a bar and bought a lot of cocktails. Sandbar. I know that place. They do good cocktails. Maybe that's where we met. Wow. That was a lot of cocktails. Alright. So. Flyer. Interesting. Okay. Oh, so last night was Monday? Wow. I don't have a job on Tuesday? That's interesting. Okay. What happened to Gary? There she is. I'm just going to say hey. Because, I mean, we're adults here. So what's up with her? No, you didn't freak me out. A little bit. A little bit. So my face is over there. So I was just a little shocked when I was suddenly smothered by the bed covers is what that says. So she woke up feeling dodgy and had to dash to the bathroom. And I ask her if everything's okay. And then she's like, I don't want to talk about it, which is fair. She's like a stranger. Um, she says, I have my jeans. Have I been awake long? And I was woken up on my phone. And I'm sorry about that. I ask her about whether she has a hangover. So did you wake up with a horrendous hangover? Uh, so she knows. She knows more about what's going on than I do. Um, I do not look too great, honey. That's right. Um, I feel terrible. I feel pretty terrible, actually. It's just a hangover, I'm sure. Um... Oh, now here's the mystery. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. You'd already had quite a few drinks before I met you last night. So. But Gary said I only had one round. So. Um, I want some painkillers. Okay. We. I'm like, what? We, what? So she's going to go grab me. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't want her to find out that I can't remember her. Oh, I hope I haven't weirded. She seems nice. But I don't know what happened last night. Um, so I am going to go through her wallet uh, just to show you. I actually did this yesterday. Um, it, and I know that I shouldn't be looking through this. That's a choice I'm making. But I do want to show you this. So... Yeah, I'm gonna investigate her wallet. Um, let me go through all this stuff. Right so, there she is. That's definitely her. Her name is Robin. She's 22 years old. It's a weird ID card, huh? Bunch of old bus tickets. A membership card. Hang on. There's something else here. Okay, well, here's a different one. Her name is Louise. I thought it was Robin. Interesting. That looks pretty old. Could it be fake? Maybe that is her name. What should I believe? I'm not going to believe either. I don't know what's going on. And then finally, she also has a sandbar card. Yep, we both were there. Wonder if we both went to Paradox as well then. Credit card. And finally there's a receipt for a taxi, which is good. Must have arrived in the early morning. I wonder who paid. <laughs> So that was a big fair. So he hopes he's not in the middle of nowhere. I hope. Okay. That's everything here. So I'm going to stop looking at her wallet. Um, what's this? A half empty bottle of Rioja Reserva. Good Lord. Did I drink more once I got to her house? Woof. Wine hangovers are the worst hangovers. All right. She gave me some painkillers. Awesome. And she's nice. She hopes they help. She's so nice. I like her a lot. Are you holding up okay? Holding up? I have no idea. Er, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Good. Should I talk about the wine? I mean... I'm just going to forget it. I don't know. So it feels a bit awkward again. I should really cut to the chase and ask her about last night. So she must know something. So that was quite a night, huh? Ooh, yeah, it was all right. Uh-oh. You know, I think I owe you my thanks. Thanks? I was feeling pretty down last night. Oh, okay. I'd always brushed off the idea of meeting up with a stranger through a dating app. Oh, a dating app. But a friend of mine met his girlfriend on there, so I thought I'd give it a try. Okay. Ooh, so she, okay, so she went to a dating app and then got matched and he didn't show up. Okay. Uh, no wonder she, she went home with me. She was there for over an hour on her own. So she felt super bad. And then she met me. Aww. I'm glad I helped her. She's like, I remember you sympathizing with me a lot. You listened to me go on and on about that dating app. That douchebag. So thanks to you, the night wasn't ruined. Aww.
Well, whatever the case explains why I ended up abandoning Gary last night a little. But she had said that I had had a lot of drinks. Hmm. So I'm saying over here, I'm glad you had a good night in the end. Although I think my mate's a bit pissed with me for ditching him. It's fine. We were just in the middle of a bar crawl. I'm sure he'll get over it. And she didn't realize I was out with anyone else. So it doesn't sound, it sounds like something happened in between. Yeah, I was out with Gary. We started at this bar. His bro recommended, I think. Gary, she says. Um, it's nothing. Uh-oh, was she supposed to meet it? <gasps> she was supposed to meet Gary. That's the deal. He went, he ditched her. Probably. That's probably what's going on. Uh-oh, yep, we're coming to it. Hold on, which bar? Uh-oh, she's on to me. I can't remember anything. I have no idea which bar. I found the flyer in Sandbrooker, but they could have been anything. Which bar did you go to with your friends? Like, I don't remember. I have no idea. She's like, wait, what? You don't even remember the bar you were at with your friends? She's like, that's the first place you went. You mustn't remember anything then. <laughs> Wait, do you even remember my name? I thought I did, but I was just snooping around. Uh, oh my God, this is humiliating. Oh no, no. Okay, maybe I can fill you in with what I know. And I'm like, please do, please do, it would help. So I'm going to stop for a minute. So it's interesting because yesterday I played a game called 2064 read only memories and it was similar to this in that it was, um, somewhat a, um, a visual novel, um, with m many of these same elements of clicking on dialogue options. And, but you know what? I, I wasn't into it. Like I, I, I quit like, pretty quickly into it because I, I don't know the difference. Like I really like these graphics and I really like this dialogue and the, the ideas here. I'm, I guess I'm more into relationships than cliched big picture kind of stories. Um, 2064 was definitely, um, I mean, there wasn't that much original to it so far, as, as far as I got in with it. Um, it also had those, um, like retro pixel graphics and I got to admit, I'm starting to learn more and more. I'm not a big fan of retro pixel graphics. Um, there are some games that I've enjoyed that have those, but, um, in general, that is not the graphic style that's going to attract me. It's just something I've learned about myself. So let's see what she has to say. All right, so she was in the bar in the Paradox Club, so she had been waiting there for a while, and she was tipsy, and um, she remembers me approaching her, and I didn't seem that drunk. Okay, so we drank together and got chatting. So we, so it got louder and louder, but we were in a corner somewhere. So then I was like, let's go elsewhere. So that probably was the sandbar. Uh-huh. So you remember little. Well, I'm not going to tell her I snooped around your apartment. Okay. Things soon began to get pretty fuzzy. So I don't remember much. I don't think either of us were in a good state to make decisions. Okay. Somehow we grabbed a taxi and I guess we ended up here. And then what happened? Uh, yeah, she's a sweetheart. I like her. So that's all she remembers. Okay. As for you and your friends, I have no idea what happened. Okay. So 
So, she filled in some blanks. And that's nice. Oh, someone's at the front door. So she's going to... That's a good looking dress, I guess. Wait, is she going to answer the door for everybody? There's still so many things I don't remember about last night. Maybe I can find some more clues around here. My phone. That's dead. It's a pile of magazines. There's some music and gaming mags here, so she's cool. Some of the articles sound pretty interesting. Shame I don't have time to read them now. Up oh, here, she's coming back. Hey, who is at the door? That's not really any of my business, is it? Just the mailman. I ordered some books online. Well, that's nice. She's answering. Uh, I wonder if she answered a dress like that. Yeah, I'll talk to her about the wine. You know, you shouldn't have spiked me with that fancy bottle of wine. Fancy bottle of wine? Oh, that's not fancy. No? I saved the fancy stuff for special occasions. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't usually drink wine. Oh, I'm pretty sure we didn't drink here last night. That bottle's just what I keep by my bed. So you keep a bottle of red wine by your bed? Yeah, I like to pour myself a glass when I read in bed sometimes. I'm being a little judgy. Ah, I can't blame this on the wine then. So I must have had one too many elsewhere. And she's like, ah, this is her home. That's her leaf. She does not normally have one night stands. All right. She's never done. Wow. Never done it before at all. Wow. Have I ever done anything like this before? I mean, I'm going to be honest. I probably have. This isn't my first time. Oh, that's kind of worrying. Oh, no, I didn't mean to make you upset. Sorry, your business is your business. Yeah, it is kind of my business. Okay, we took precautions. So what she's trying to say is, I don't want this to be typical. I mean, you're still here. Didn't sneak out before I woke up or whilst I was out of the room. Whilst! Interesting word to use in a, in the, in a video game with this much, with this dialogue. Um, <laughs> whilst. Aw, I was nice to her. Oh, and she wanted me to get out of here. So I must have made a good impression, all things considered. Um, we didn't really get to know each other well last night. Or if we did, we barely remember it. So she's talked enough about me. Tell me about you. Oh, all right. What about me? Anything. Maybe if we get to know each other a little better, this can be different. Different? Uh, oh, is she being clingy? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Not as weird. Okay. What should I tell her about myself? Well, if I tell her about my friends, I mean, that's kind of not even really about me. I'll tell her about my hobbies. Uh-oh. She'll be right back. She's not feeling good. Uh-oh. I don't think it's any of my business, whatever's going on with her right this minute, or she would have asked for my help, I think, so I'm going to wait. Maybe I can look around some more. Um, teddy bear. Cute. 
leave it alone. Books? No, she's maybe an English lit major. Or not a major, but probably already done with school. English literature and context. Or maybe she is a college student right now. DVDs. Oh, she's coming back. So I'm going to ask her if she's okay. Not really. It just felt sick all of a sudden. Maybe it was something I ate or too much drink. Yeah. I'm going to offer her. Okay, she just needs to get some rest. All right, bus station. She's kind of done with me. I'm glad we had a nice time last night. And she's grateful. Oh, I'm sorry she doesn't feel well. Um, I want to stay friends. Oh, she's like, hmm. Oh, okay. And she's like, well, we're not going to have sex again real, real soon. Yeah. Oh, there's that whilst again. But anyway, you didn't sneak out in the night or this morning whilst my back was turned. I wonder, so whilst, I can tell this is from uh, the UK, so maybe they use that word more there. Yeah, friends. Uh-oh. Why am I thinking about sex at a time like this? No. No. You literally just should I ask if we can be more than friends. No. Why spo spoil good thing? You can always ask her for a date later. It's not a big deal. Exactly. If we stay in touch, you can say what could happen in the future. Friends it is. Nice. Nice hug, yeah. Is that an ending? She sees you to the front door. You still didn't learn her name. Whoops, maybe we should have asked that. Head to the bus station, and I smile my way. She really is a nice girl after all. And I enjoyed getting to know a little more about her before you left. All right, I arrive home and charge my phone and discover a message from an unknown number. Oh, what's up with that? Thanks. Oh, so that must be her. I wonder how else that could have played out. I unlocked the ending Fred friend request. Awesome. So it looks like there's a bunch of endings. Um, so I just want to say... Um, I'm I'm actually glad that there's so many endings because I always wonder when I stream through these games like hey <laughs> I've just streamed through the game why did they need to play it um, I really liked this um, I may even I don't you know as far as streaming goes I don't really have time to um, stream through me going through it again because I'm trying to get through like a thousand games long story um, but I loved the graphics here I loved the dialogue and it just was very meaningful in a trivial way. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's not, you know, some games or literature or TV shows are about these grand ideas and these big problems. And this just was about a one night stand and, and I liked it. I liked it a lot. So, um, very cool. I suggest that, um, I do suggest this game. It's called One Night Stand. Weirdly, I couldn't even find it on Twitch as far as, like, tagging it. Um, it's not even, it's the first time I'm, I've ever found, like, a game that wasn't on Twitch, um, as a category or whatever. But, um, yeah, 
I would suggest you play this. Um, I will get to another game, uh, hopefully later today. Bye-bye.